What's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to Valhelzia 3. It's your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, last episode, we went ahead and set this thing up here to uh, the, my back here. Uh, and I also did a little bit of work off camera, as you can see. Yes. I've made a dome. <laughs> it's very domey. So yeah, this is our dome. This is that second layer I was telling you guys about last episode. If you guys are interested about interested about this whole setup, go ahead and check out the previous episode. So the only change I made to this off camera was I did actually have to end up pushing this pressurized reaction chamber back uh, because it wasn't able to get, or no, because this guy uh, needed to get some oxygen. And so we had to add in this electrolytic separator which went ahead and fixed our issue but now everything is actually like 100 percent automated um yeah so all we do is pump in potatoes up there oh i fall down we pop in potato oh oh we put potatoes in there up up there like this is our input i might be able to go ahead and move this um over to the mid or we might just end up putting like that quantum ring thing there and just sending it, you know, but uh, yeah, this is going to be our second floor where all of our plants are going to be. Uh, this is going to be a fairly large base, and we will have a world tour downloaded at the end of the series. Or not downloaded, but up for download at the end of the series, so you guys can go ahead and take a look and be here yourself. But let's go ahead and get into the, the meat and potatoes of this episode. We need to head back to our normal base. And here, we're going to go ahead and make a... 12 plus range add-on boy uh, so I'm just actually because we have so much glass now I went AFK for quite a while I was playing Call of Duty with Butcher and my my other buddies uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab all of the stuff and things all right I got the gold gears right nope not the gold gears we just need some emeralds at this point yep okay I do have a lot of them one two three four not really a lot of them but a decent amount uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and find a way to kind of automate that and then go ahead and make the, make this, yeah, you need the latex. So our latex boy is over here. We'll go ahead and put him here. The two redstone and shebang. Okay, perfect. And with that done, we do have this here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make the infinity hammer. So that needs to be here like so. That's pretty much the only thing we really need to really craft up. Everything else it should be kind of a cakewalk. All right, so two of these bad boys. A diamond sword. We get a diamond axe. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. It'd be rather sad if it did. And then the three gears. Okay, where did the gears go? All right, so I learned my lesson with doing stuff with like hammers and stuff like that. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a world backup just before we do this, just in case this thing is a little buggy. Okay, so the backup has been completed here, so we can go ahead and build this, so I'm quite excited. We do have the pink slime from our other farm going, we've got a little bit of water here. All right, so we have the infinity hammer. Okay, so it's only a one by one. Let's see if we can charge it by the, the wind power guy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. You charge, oh, it is charging up with power. Okay, so it looks like charging it up increases the tiers. So all we have to do is just stand here for a couple of minutes. Okay, now we hit 80. Yeah, so I literally just need to stand here. And this is how we upgrade the Infinity Hammer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go AFK for a little bit, uh, fill up my water bottle or something like that, and then I'll be back. Okay, so it looks like this is how much power our system is holding, 797 million, but we do need 3.3 3 .3 trillion RF to go ahead and get to the next tier. So unfortunately, it looks like that is our limit, but let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, so it says that the limit is a nine by nine area. So it should, let's see. Maybe stone. Um, hmm. biofuel, maybe we need some of that, let's go ahead, okay, 
tiny. Oh, industrial foregoings biofuel. Okay, so we're gonna need to make a biofuel reactor then. Or generator, biofuel generator. Generator. Okay. There we go, biofuel generator. Put this bad boy here. Okay, so we got power. Empty. Okay, let's go ahead and get some carrots then. All right, got some carrots here. Let's go ahead and test this, this guy out. I need to pump in or some thin biofuel. Oh, that's a we need a bioreactor, like I was saying. Jeez Louise. I feel like an idiot. That makes power. Okay, so need some bricks. Let's go ahead and make up some clay. Alright, yep, now we got the bio reactor here. Okay, so we put these bad boys, okay, we can only put efficiency. Okay, so it looks like we just actually need to pump some water into here. Uh, if we use this, okay, it's got water. Yes, it did make some biofuel, perfect. Now, How much power does this make? I don't know. We'll let that biofuel run. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and make some speed upgrades for it. So yeah, we just need to put water in there. And then we can see about trying to fill this guy up. I'm not sure how we're actually supposed to fill it up. So let's go ahead and check. Um, potion brewer, fluid collector. Hmm, I don't see a way to get the biofuel into here. Let's see if I just like right click it, maybe that works. Yep, that worked, got biofuel. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out now. Um, test it out here. It's very slow. Okay, that no worky. Uh, let's see if there's a special control for it. Nope, no special drill. Um, maybe this is a sword of some sort? Like the weapon? Nope. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and make ourselves the drill here. I actually think I forgot a diamond block. Oh man, I thought I was all prepared, but you know, it happens. Okay. Perfect, got our diamond block here. Okay, go ahead and put that in, yes. So we're just gonna make the drill instead. You guys can let me know down in the comment section what the hammer is for. I'm not actually sure what it's for um, or why it doesn't seem to be working. But it makes me kind of sad. But we can go ahead and just make the infinity drill here. I'm pretty sure this is what we should have made in the very beginning. Uh, please let me know down in the comment section, Dan. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so we're going to let more biofuel produce. Now we're going to go back up to the wind power. And we're going to charge this bad boy up for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't have a whole lot of power left in here, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we do. Just kidding. What was I looking at? Oh, I was looking at the cable back there. Yeah, we don't have a lot of power left in the cables. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go AFK here for a bit, and we'll see what's going on. Okay, so we got a decent charge into the Infinity Drill. I also discovered if we shift right-click, this is where we go ahead and adjust everything. So we're going to go ahead and adjust. The this looks like a tool. Um, Beheading 2. Yeah, so if we go... Oh! Oh! Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. That's definitely. Uh, okay. Yeah, but this this is what we wanted because we can set that. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't good. Okay. So you guys can't really see. Um, but if we go like this, that worked. And it does do grass as well. Ooh. That's pretty neat. Okay, perfect. So I do have the biofuel getting generated. We can set up a kind of temporary way to do that, but now this will allow me to go ahead and to start to kind of dig this out. Like so. And so under here, guys, we are actually going to have our uh, fission and fusion reactors. All of our power will be under here. Uh, we're going to be very, very careful about doing anything crazy. Okay, so 58. What are you at? 57. Okay, so we just got to lower this guy one more block. So 57 is the target. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lower all of this down, and we might actually go ahead and start moving some stuff over. All right, guys, so we are down here below, and as you can see, we, we don't see any of the cables down here, and that is because we, we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a too high layer here to go ahead and operate under. This will all be lit up under here, don't worry. We won't have any monsters spawning. Uh, but what this floor is gonna be used for is simply to like run cables around each other. And the fact that we have uh, two different uh, like two levels here. Uh, we should be able to run like refined cable storage over here to where all of our uh, HDPE sheets are. So everything should be able to run under here. We can get power to everything. Uh, so most of these are actually going to be self-contained, these little modules that we've made. Um, and then obviously the, the bigger stuff is going to be below like the reactors. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And then I also went ahead and decided we're going to do these pillars here that kind of go off here. And then we're going to have probably... Uh, out to here wide going around the entire thing and then we're going to continue the base on uh, and we're going to have different quadrants so let me get up top and I'll show you so we're going to have a big quadrant here a relatively smaller one here big one here small one here big one here small one here big one here these are each going to be circles themselves and then we're going to have like this big base going around here it's going to be freaking wicked I promise you guys are going to love it uh, but it definitely uh, won't won't do it itself. We have to go ahead and fill each of these in with our our different uh, automation stuff, uh, and then some of these might be filled with uh, things that are an art mechanism. Actually, I, I do plan on having that, um, but I haven't decided which ones we're going to be processing the fission fuel from. Now I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to go with this one and this one here, but we are going to have. I want four fission reactors running down here at all times. So we might actually end up going one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three spaces left to go ahead and fill, or we can go one here, one here, corners from each other, and that way we can have one of our processors, uh, or one of our fission fuel things, doing uh, the fission reactors over here, and then one doing over here, so it'll be one to two. Uh, and then we'll have obviously the HD, not the HDPE pellets, but the uh, the other pellets uh, automated. And then we'll also have antimatter automated on each side here. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go ahead and do that, uh, but that will require me to go ahead and break a few more eggs. So I'm going to go. Oop, that's one. I'm going to go ahead and punch some walls down, and yeah, this is going to be great. Check this out. This is how easy it is. Boom. So I'm actually going to make a big, uh, not really a big circle, uh, but we're going to make a one that's a little bit smaller than the one above. And then we will actually, no, we should make one that's bigger than the one above. Because I want to have this kind of protected area, or not really protected area, but these enclosed areas where we're going to have our reactors in. And they're going to be like kind of like these little corners here. Now they're not going to be um, angled. They're going to be kind of like, like, like think of over here as being the corner, right? So they're going to be like this they're going to be like quadrants over here kind of like what we did above um but not really i'll show you what i'm talking about so not like this where it's just hard but it's going to be much bigger and it's going to be kind of curved and the reactor will be in the middle so we're going to have one basically 
probably like right here is where the reactor is going to be. So we do need to kind of punch the, this area out quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that off camera. And then we'll be back once the area is punched out and the circle's made. And I'll talk to you guys about some more stuff. All right, guys. So about a, an hour has passed in game time. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've done. Yes, we have this big old crevice here, lots of bats, and uh, this is the design that we're going to go for. Uh, we have these little quadrants kind of over here. Uh, each of these uh, is going to have a door right here, so we can go ahead and access that. Uh, and then these are going to come up all the way to the, to the ceiling here, and these are going to be our supports up into the ceiling and make it look like it has some structure. Uh, but uh, we're going to need a lot... A lot of hardened clay. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is essentially what it's going to look like here. Um, yeah, and then we're going to have this the same repeating pattern up there. Uh, and these are going to be filled with glass blocks. And it's going to look really good. I'll be able to see inside of the reactors. And then we'll also be able to kind of... Oh, gosh. You're good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and see how much time we got left for today. Uh, this video has already taken me about uh, two and a half hours to get to here. So pretty crazy. Um, yeah, this this area was a was a build. <laughs> so yeah, going to go ahead and see how much time we got left. And I'll be right back and we'll see if we can maybe get one of these here. Okay, guys, so we got a little bit of lag, a little bit more time, actually. So we're going to go ahead and actually start to uh, build this here. If you look, I've got quite a bit of materials. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build the first one with you guys on camera, and then we're going to finish it up off camera, and then we'll be back. So let's go ahead and build this bad boy. Uh, yes, in the corner here. We go one, two, three, four. Yep, I designed this to be a perfect fit. Perfect. There we go. And then... This one might have been the best one to do it on. Okay, let's switch over to this guy. No problem. So we'll determine how high up we want to go. And I think we're going to go like two blocks from the ceiling. So we should be okay. If it's not okay, we can always just make him smaller. Uh, I just place the blocks right. It would help. Okay, and so Okay, yep, that's uh that's our limit that we're gonna go to. Now I we're gonna see I don't actually know if these will work. Uh this is the first time I actually thought about it, and I realize I'm gonna need a lot more reactor glass than I originally anticipated to. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and do these guys here. Oop, you actually need to have the casing up along the top. You guys didn't know. Yep, and then you go ahead and case them off with these guys here. And then we put the fission reactor casing on top. Boom. All right, so our ports are gonna go here, here. Yep. And then here, here. So there won't be any ports on the back there. I do have a lot of fission reactor glass, but I'm going to need a lot more. Like I might be able to do one of these, but I definitely won't be able to do two. Maybe. Okay, there we go. And at first, we are going to be using the water for coolant, and then we will switch over to the better one. I believe it's like sodium or something like that. 
So no need, no need to fear. I, that did not work. Okay, so there is a limit to how tall we can make this. Okay, we're gonna lower it by one block. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna switch to off camera real quick here, and then we'll go ahead and get everything figured out. Okay. Okay, I don't know if this needs to be Actually, I can go ahead and switch back on my magnet. I was When I was clearing everything out earlier, it was draining my armor so stinking fast. Because there were thousands of blocks on the ground. Oh, that seemed to work. Perfect. So we were just going up by one too many blocks. But this is a reactor here. We're going to go ahead and... This is gonna be where our water comes from. I do wanna kind of hide it. I don't want you to tell the water it comes from water or it comes from a sink. Uh, here we go. Water into there. Boom. All right, so this can get filled up with water. Uh, it should actually be plenty fast. Um, we might actually need to put two. Or you can actually put a, a whole bunch, like all of them feeding into this, because I don't think this is the issue. Uh, but yeah, guys, so we have one reactor here. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the other three here, and uh, we'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and put all of the, the fission reactors here. Now, none of these are obviously getting any fission fuel, so they're not even on. But guys, check it out. Um, I went ahead and actually did that little support beam across the top. We're going to do another thing up there. Uh, but Or I might actually just curve these parts in. We could have a cool little triangle coming in. Uh, we'll go ahead and give that a try. We'll see how that's working. But each of these has their water supply set up. Um, and then the fission fuel will be coming in here, 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 and here. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm very excited. I think this is a uh, this is going to be a, a very fun build. Um, I think it's going to be one of the more uh, elaborate designs because I'm really going for that wow effect when it comes to this base. Because I do want you guys to be able to play on this world eventually and go ahead and just check it out. Um, but that'll be in the future. And guys, we're gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and we're working on our new base. I'll see you on the next episode. We might automate some fission fuel. But anyways, guys, have a good one. Bye bye.